and starting out in Stockton with our main point. City Council is deciding whether or not to display the Pride flag for Pride Month. That's where we find Becca Habegger live tonight. She's been following this larger conversation happening in the Stockton area and frankly, nationwide. Becca? Yeah, Alex, you know, the vote by city council members tonight here in Stockton is just part of a broader conversation happening in this community and beyond, including with county supervisors just last week. More on that in a few seconds, but we've been hearing from community members asking why it's important at all to fly the LGBTQIA plus pride flag. So we took that question straight to the San Joaquin Pride Center. That means so much to the LGBTQ community to know that there are spaces in the world that not just see us, but also like celebrate us and want us to feel safe there. And I think that flying a flag is a very simple way for a city and a location to do that. Michael Wayne Cousins is Community Outreach Coordinator with the San Joaquin Pride Center, a nonprofit serving San Joaquin County with free LGBTQ plus resources, health services and events. They and the center's transgender service specialist James Patnod said flying a pride flag is especially meaningful this year. And not only showcases that they support us, but they are standing firm in their support with us against the bigotry that we have historically faced worldwide and even now currently are facing nationwide. You won't see the pride flag flying at the San Joaquin County Administration Building. At last week's county supervisor meeting, only three of five supervisors voted to fly the flag. The measure needed four votes to pass. Supervisors Tom Patty and Stephen Ding voted against the measure, siding with some of the public commenters. What I am not understanding is why this is even an issue when it's a sexual thing. And why is a sexual thing being brought to the forefront? Supervisor Paul Canepa, who sponsored the measure, called himself a God-fearing person while speaking in favor of flying the pride flag. For me, the way that I was raised, I mean, this is definitely outside the box for me, um, but I want to be a more inclusive society. Also sparking controversy in the Stockton area, the San Joaquin Pride Center is holding a family-friendly drag show fundraiser this Saturday at Pixie Woods. ABC 10 was at a May 23rd Stockton City Council meeting where people showed up to speak in support of and opposition to holding the event at this children's park. These people that have a right to have uh, whatever they want to put on, it shouldn't be at a children's park. Trying to ban something like this is honestly ridiculous. Ultimately, the Pride Center got a permit from the city, but at a steeper cost than they anticipated. Due to the backlash that we have received from the community in response to this event, we have now had to almost triple our expenses just to put on this event, and that was required by contract with the city. So now we are required to have not only paid security, but also have a Stockton PD presence. There's just frustration there over like this event that was just for promoting safety and celebration of all expression, turning into this um, really big controversy and fight when it was just supposed to be a space of safety for LGBTQ families to come and have a fun time. The San Joaquin Pride Center stresses this is a family friendly event. They say drag performers will be dressing as Disney characters and video game characters. Tickets are $15 each. They will only be on sale, however, through 1130 Thursday night. Organizers say for safety purposes, there will no, uh, be no same day tickets on Saturday or on Friday. Uh, the event is on Saturday. People can also buy a ticket and donate it if they want to support, but they can't participate. Uh, the San Joaquin Pride Center just asks those folks to reach out and message them if they want to do that. Alex. All right, Becca, thank you so much.